Recently, as a preview to the DevCore course, I released a little sneak peek about databases in the real world. I began my career working with databases, both as a database administrator, a developer, and I guess third, as a business intelligence and analytics professional. I got really good at learning how to query SQL databases because of Garth Schultz teaching at CBT Nuggets. There's no better instructor out there on the planet, and that's where you want to go if you want to learn more about querying databases and learning the SQL programming language. But one of the cool things that I part with Garth on recently is that he has this incredible SQL database containing nothing but structured Star Wars data. It's really cool and it's really fun to play around with. So what I did is I took a backup of that database and turned it into a Docker container and now it's hosted on my GitHub repo. So what we're going to do in this video is just show you really quickly how you can pull down that GitHub repo and get your Docker container up and running with the Star Wars database so that you can practice some SQL code yourself. Let's get going. <laughs> So there's really not much to it. It's right here on the screen. There's the repo. It's datanox slash SWDB, Star Wars Database, hyphen Docker. And it's got the steps on how you can actually pull this down and get connected right now if you want to do it. So let's just follow along, shall we? I'm going to just highlight this step one code right here, give it a copy, and I'll bring up my shell. Now I'm going to run this from Linux because this does use Linux paths, Linux directories. So it's going to be a little bit easier for me to work with that way. Let's paste this in. It says paste anyway. We're good with it. It's going to clone down this information. It's got its changed directories into the Docker database. And all I have to do now is run the shell script that actually pulls down the Docker image, mounts the volumes, copies the backup into the actual Docker container, and then performs the restore operation. So we'll press enter here and watch it do its thing. Okay, there we go. See, right there, it says right at the very bottom, restore database successfully processed, 402 pages, blah, 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 blah. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to be using SQL Server Management Studio. And here's the connection dialog. We are going to be connecting to localhost, comma, 1402. I know, I know, SQL Server by default listens on port 1433. This Docker container maps port 1402 into 1433. And beyond that, when you type in localhost instead of colon, you type a comma in SQL Server. Now we're setting the authentication to SQL Server authentication. The username is SA, that's for systems administrator. And then if I jump back to this screen right here, I'm gonna copy the password right there, give it a copy and give it a paste and press connect. Just like that, I am now connected into the database. If I expand the database, I see the Star Wars database. If I expand tables, we can right click on something like the select top 100, or top 1000 I should say, and there they are, there's, there's the data right there. We can do things like planets to films, there it is. So there you go. That's how you can get started having fun playing with SQL Server and the Star Wars database with some preloaded data based on that Microsoft SQL Server container. Thanks for stopping by y'all. See you in the next one.